last time we learnt about contiguous memory allocation in the main memory for processors and we found that there was problem of external fragmentation and in that place okay so there was problem of fragmentation where even though the space was available total space was there in the main memory but because of holes being distributed at different places there was not contiguous memory available so this was the example we took that okay so there is this is a hole of 2 mb there is a hole here of 3 mb and there is a hole there of 1 mb so this is p1 p2 p3 and p4 are there occupying the main memory still there are holes and this is and a process comes which has size of let's say 6 mb so now your 6 mb is available in your main memory but because they are not contiguous so the process cannot be allocated memory because only contiguous memory allocation needs to be done so this way we saw that 50 percent of the memory becomes unused because of these fragmentation problem so instead of this what we use is known as paging where instead of contiguous memory location and thereby wasting memory we allocate pages which are of smaller size and those pages can be now distributed at different places so physical address space of process can be not non-contiguous processes are allocated physical memory wherever it's available so that's the beauty of paging so here what happens i can use now this part this part and this part because i'm now don't need contiguous memory because of use of paging so what happens here divide the physical memory into fixed size blocks which are called frames okay so frames those that main memory is divided into frames which are of size of power of 2 between 512 bytes to 16 megabytes divide the logical memory of your code also into blocks of the same size called pages okay so now we have let's say pages are there so my program might consist of 14 page okay so now when i'm allocating its space in the memory i can allocate those space pages all of them at different place okay one page can be here one okay so for example let's take different color one page is here one page is here third page here fourth page here and so on all of them can be at different place so this way if memory is available you won't have fragmentation problem but the thing is now you have to keep track of all those frames so this will be an additional work so we have to keep track of those frames where is frame one of the program frame page one of the program page two of program page three and page 14 okay and that needs mapping okay so we need a mapping or a table which will tell that okay page zero is in frame number 40 of your memory page number two is at 45th memory location uh, frame number to run a program of size n pages we need n frames in our memory to load the program so what we need is a page table to translate our logical address of the program into physical address and that is there so let's move ahead but this okay so here what we see is that we need a address translation scheme okay so what it tells that we should have now page numbers address generated by cpu is divided into now page numbers okay used to index in page table that okay from the page table i will see that okay my page number so something like let's have four pages zero one two and three and in the main memory which has 16 frames okay so I will know that okay page 0 is on page uh, frame 14 page 1 is at frame 9 page 2 is at frame 5 page 3 is at frame number 7 so this is the mapping that is required and in fact 
each page also consists of several bytes let's say it is 512 byte so now you need to tell the offset also that in page that page which particular offset we need to move to so that's there the page number and page offsets are the two things that we would need and for a given logical address space of 2 to the power of m and page size is 2 to the power of n so page numbers page of one page has size okay so this is n 2 to the power of n is the size of a page okay and then 2 to the power of m is the size of the program then there will be 2 to the power of m by 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of m minus n pages okay so this is there or so let's try to see further so we have paging here paging hardware so we have cpu it finds that okay page p it need to find so it will move to the page table it will see that okay my page belongs to that particular frame number it will now go to the physical address and find the frame so for example here they tell that okay page number is again page table will be there so whatever 1500 page number it is mapped to let's say this particular part okay f000 so f000 0000 and then it will be mapped here okay so basically this is the page table from page you need to know the frame offset will be the same because the page size and frame size are the same so, so they have in fact given you example of logical and physical memory so there is one logical memory is there page 0 page 1 page 2 page 3 and 0 is mapped to frame number 1 in the physical memory 1 is mapped to page number 4 in the uh, frame number 4 page 2 is mapped to frame number 3 and page 3 is mapped to page number 7 so this is how it will work and so again they have given one more example to make it much clearer okay so we have again a say logical memory so these are four pages and zero is mapped to so here are your these are again the pages okay so zero four eight so zero is mapped to five okay this place and then so this is again a page table one is mapped to six so you can see a b c it is mapped to six so one two three four five sixth one and so on so this basically we need to have a virtual address to, to map it logical address to the physical address space so let's see with some calculations okay yeah we have a page size of 2048 which is 2 to the power of 11 byte isn't it so 1024 into 2 so this is the size of page process size is 72766 bytes so how many pages it will need so 72766 by 2048 these many pages plus some extra bytes because it might not be exactly divisible so 35 pages plus 1086 bytes now internal fragmentation i have to allocate one complete page i cannot allocate you fraction of pages so 1086 byte and my page size is 2048 so you will on the last page will only occupy 1086 so remaining of 962 bytes will be unallocated so this will be internal fragmentation so worst case internal fragmentation can be if i have some memory requirement of a process that is 2048k plus 1 so it only requires just in the last fragment okay so it will have in the last frame it will just require one byte and all the other 2047 bytes will be not used on an average half of the frame size is 
unused okay so for process so what we need so for uh, removing this internal fragmentation we would make the page size smaller because then your memory unused will be lesser but the thing is then you have to make a bigger table for page table so that will be a problem so page size is in fact growing over time and this is the there okay so this is a good concept so whenever free frames so the operating system maintains the what are the free frames so this is a new process has come it has four pages requirement now this will know that okay the operating system knows these are the free frames 14 13 15, 18 okay so these are some free frames 14 13 18 20 and 15 so now when it pages are required page 0 will be allocated to 14 page 1 to 13 page 2 to 18 and page 3 to 20 so now these are occupied so this is the new memory address okay so this is there so now implementation of page table so we will see how it is done and how what is TLB okay so this is all for this particular lecture thanks a lot in next class we will study buffers okay